T.S. Madison is one of the biggest names on social media right now. The award-winning transgender icon is an author. She's a television host, an artist, a motivational speaker, and so much more that I just cannot list right yes. now, including her fan favorite, the Queen's Supreme Court. You likely have seen a few memes from her show, and Madison has built her brand by walking in her unapologetic truth, being a proud activist of the LGBTQ plus community. So please, let's welcome the ultimate multimedia maven, T.S. Madison. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. So good. Wonderful. <laughs> so let's get to the first thing. So T.S., let's start from the beginning. What did the journey look like for you when you were younger? Uh, when I was younger, uh, I, I was, I hate to use the word confused, but I was confused and I was really trying to find myself. And usually in the stages of you trying to find yourself, you know, you 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 don't want to uh, separate from your family and you don't want to separate from God. But there comes a point in your life where you have to say, forget it and just risk it all to find out who you really are. Mm -hmm. And it was a little it was a, it was it was it's been a journey. I'm not going to say it was, but it, it's been a journey because, you know, even at 43, I'm still finding out things about myself and, and finding out things you know, that are hidden deep, deep within me. You know, I was watching you, your segment um, about relationships and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we make people think here That's on Being a Woman. To do. That's what we try to do. I, I, just, I, I swear, I was like, wait a minute. I'm not perfect. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, um, you know, it's, it's still a journey. And, and what I try to explain to people about transitioning, um, it's, it's more than just a physical thing or, 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 or a superficial thing. Uh, transitioning starts in the mind first. And then the, the mind uh, reflects what it sees on the inside, you know, on the outside. And no matter how, how much augmentation or, or beauty enhancements that we have, um, uh, cisgender women and transgender women. If our if our mental state is not together, we will always uh, feel lacking in something. Uh, no matter the beauty, no matter the, the 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 education, we'll always feel lacking in something. And transitioning, it does not just apply solely uh, to trans women. You know, everybody in general transitions throughout the course of their life. Mindsets finances, uh, living, you know, you, you're always in transition, always trying to find that, that better version of yourself. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So what was a defining moment in your life that truly jump-started your career into becoming the T.S. Madison? Um, well, I'm going to be honest with you, with you ladies. Uh, what truly catapulted me into becoming T.S. Madison was a, a social media app called Vine. Um, I, I, I started going viral on Vine, you know, doing little out, outrageous, outlandish things, you know, naked, you know, and, and, and what happened was I didn't know that I was catapulting. I was one of the catalysts to a trans movement um, that started uh, exploding around about 2012, 2013. Um, and I didn't know that I was, I, I was just promoting a, a, a business you know, prior to what I do now. And I didn't know that it was going to catapult me or move me into the next phase of my life. And I was like, wait a minute now, you know, me saying, no wave, you know, 22 inches. You know, I didn't know that it was going to spark me into really becoming an, an internet icon. You know, I had already been on the internet uh, with my with my other businesses and, and things that I had that was a little secular. But this stuff, just catapulted me into homes of people that I didn't that, that found things funny. Like I girl, I was on Tosh Point oh. <laughs> I was I was on vacation and one of my videos was on Tosh Point oh, and it just shook the world and I didn't know that it was gonna do that. And then once I started seeing uh children and uh, 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 other people, you know, mimicking me and doing this. I was like, wait a minute, Madison, you have a, a greater responsibility mm -hmm. than what you were what you were doing prior to this. You have a bigger responsibility, and your in 
you're you're really influential mm -hmm. so you have to use your influence for something greater than just what you you were doing before and i just started changing myself around it was it was slow and it was something that i had to learn because i'm very loud live and in color i'm very you know unapologetically myself but i had to understand that and, and something else you, you 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 beautiful ladies were talking about in the program about your life really not being your own mm. and the, the more that you are a star and the more that you grow into who you are especially if your life is influential or 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 your movements or your words affect people in a way that that sparks change you have to understand that your journey is really not your journey mm. it's your journey is what you're going on through for someone else, kind of like Christ's life, mm -hmm. you know? Christ's life was not his own. Christ, Christ's life was, was ours yes. for us. Mm -hmm. So for those who may be watching right now, who may be struggling with their gender identity, what advice do you have for them? Um, it's either you or them. And at the end of the day, it, it must always be end up being you because what we don't understand is everybody like i said earlier goes through transitioning processes people are transitioning in their mind their finances you know and and you are sitting here trying to please let me talk to you who's watching you are sitting here trying to please someone who may not be fulfilled in themselves the fulfillment has to come within you and if you have to walk away and leave it all to find yourself that might be the sacrifice that you might have to make in order for you to find some type of closure or happiness in within your life you might have to just you have you're gonna have to choose yourself over everyone else mm -hmm. and let god do what he does he'll lead you and guide you through through your decisions and thoughts, but you have to love yourself first and love yourself enough to walk away from things that are not gonna let you be 100% authentically you. Mm -hmm. yes. You can definitely apply that to all aspects of oh, your for life. Oh, sure. for sure. I was hitting that too. Like for me, you know, it's like just being authentically who you are and not having to apologize for it because that's what's gonna make you better for other people. Exactly. All right, let's go. If you're in a relationship, if you're with your husband and uh, your, your your husband, a spouse uh, or, or business or whatever, you if, if you cannot blossom, if you cannot flourish, if you cannot be the best you, you, you might have to walk away from it. You have mm -hmm. to risk it and just walk away to find you. You have to leave others to find yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a quote of the day. Yes, right that's there. a quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your career. How did you know that media was for you and where did that begin? I know you mentioned uh, you went viral on Vine. So when that moment took place, how did you know, okay, this is what I want to focus on and I can see myself doing this in the future? Well, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when I started getting um, uh, big platforms reaching out to me, like HBO, HBO was the first place to reach out to me. Um, Vice uh, reached out. Uh, when my video first went viral and they were like well hey madison you know um we we're, we find you very funny and entertaining you know would you be interested in doing you know stuff i was like wait a minute you know hey this can get a little bit more lucrative than i did not expect it girl mm -hmm. let me get money. Mm -hmm. you know so um that and then you know just just the money aspect of it when i started when i started being able to monetize mm -hmm. off of my personality. I was like, wait a minute, girl. <laughs> I'm already making good money, honey, off the look. <laughs> but what about, you know, the, the 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 genuine real me? Like I'm I'm telling you, I'm loud, live and in color. And if anybody out there that's watching this knows T S Madison, you guys know I'm on my best behavior this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well stay right here, T S Madison has been working on some new things under quarantine. This is Being a Woman. All right, we're back with T.S. Madison, the one and only. So let's talk about the Queen Supreme Court. For our for viewers that aren't familiar, tell us about the web show, where we can find it, and how the idea came about. 
Uh, the Queen Supreme Court is a show that uh, that blossomed from a former uh, relationship that I had uh, with my former co-host, um, and she and I split, and um, I just created my own version of it. Uh, it's a it's a social it's a show where we talk about um, celebrity gossip, celebrity news, um, and also uh, the show is evolving. I've evolved the show actually into. Um, a morning show that I have called uh, Maddie in the Morning, where I talk about uh, things. I use I use maybe one issue uh, that we might cover over a social aspect, and then I apply it to people so that, you know, pe- we, we all watch celebrity news and celebrity gossip or whatever, and we're like, girl, if I was there, I wouldn't do that. You know, and I start applying it to the people so that the people can, can put themselves in the celebrity shoes or mm-hmm. put themselves mm-hmm. in you know, a position of a person that's like famous and we, we just talk about it. And kind of like the show, Being a Woman. I like the show. <laughs> Such a great name. Thank you. Thank you. So today, what is your favorite show? Oh, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, of course. <laughs> of I course. Love I, I love, I love RuPaul. RuPaul. Um, RuPaul, RuPaul actually uh, was one of the people that made me knew that I that I had a chance to be you know what I wanted to because as a as a young child I sat in the living room and I would watch TV uh, so much I had to grow up getting glasses girl okay <laughs> <laughs> I knew at growing up that I was going to be a star I didn't know what type of star mm-hmm. or how how the star was going to come but I knew that I was going to be a star by watching these things on television. I was like, I can do that. I want to do that. Oh my God. You know, but I didn't really realize exactly who I was until 1992. I think I was about 15 years old when I watched uh, the crying game. That's when I knew who I was or what I was. I was like, because I'm not a drag queen. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. a difference between being a trans woman and a and a and a, and a drag queen. Um, drag is an art. It's a form of, of of work. It's a it's a it's not really an identity. Being trans is an identity. Being drag is expression. Mm-hmm. So when I used to see RuPaul, um, you know, on television before, I was like, oh yeah, you know, this is ex- this is ex- this is expression. Like I can do this. But when I saw this it's the crying game I was like that's who I am that's my identity right there that's what it is and I went all the way over there to say the RuPaul's Drag Race is one of my favorite shows on television the Real Housewives of Atlanta yes of course yes, yes. honey Are that's one of our favorites team too. Nene or team Kenya oh this is a big one ah I, I like Kenya's messy oh and, yeah we say that yeah. yeah that's the thing that's why she's on the show that's why we Definitely. say she's on the show because she stirs stuff up yeah i like her messy but i like <laughs> nini's bloop i yep. like that mm-hmm. exactly I, I don't know how to say so i think both ladies are um they're, they're fit for the show you know candy was on my show just recently she was the uh-huh. last guest of the show before i candy's went on, my uh, favorite yeah, I went on a little break for, from my show for a while just to revamp it and reorganize it and re-strategize a few things. But Candy was my last guest on the show. And Candy is definitely a necessary component on the show because she got more money than all of them. Exactly. Yes, she you said it. Housewife. You said it. <laughs> she got more money than all the girls on the show. And, you know, she's a, de- she's a necessary component because, you know, Candy is like... Um, She's that she's she's really the glue actually that keeps she, yeah, yeah she is. Kenya's the mess, Nene's the drama, Candy's the glue, and then everybody else around it just like you know falls in place. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So we understand you've been working on a few exclusive projects while under quarantine. So what can you give away to us? A little exclusive sneak peek of what you have coming up. Um, well, the little things that I've been working on is definitely revamping my with the Queen Supreme mm-hmm. Court. Also, uh, created the Maddie in the Morning Show. Um, we're living in a in a quarantine world now, and we're living in a place where usually I would show up to a place and be like, yeah, it's loud, loud, and come yeah. up. You know, um, I have some irons in the fire with 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 um little acting stuff that I got coming up in a little. Well, television stuff that I got, you know, 
work. You know, I will say this, since I can't reveal all things. I will say this. Person that is watching, people that are watching, never, ever give up. Stumble, fall, get up. Get depressed, get out of it. Mm. When you have been given the vision of the finish line, continue to run the race, no matter what the obstacles and bumps that you run into. I love that. We're going to have a T.S. Madison quote for quote of the day. We, we can give us so, so many gems, okay? <laughs> so before we go, where can we keep up with you? Oh, honey, listen, get on my Instagram at the real T.S. Madison. Follow me on Twitter, T.S. Madison ATL1. And sweetie, listen, if you ain't following the Queen Supreme Court girl or Maddie in the morning, I'm going to kick your mm. bloop. <laughs> 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 Yes. Um, but yeah, just follow me. Just put me in Google, honey. You'll find you'll find exactly what you're looking for when you're looking for T.S. Madison. For sure. Google. For sure. Thank you so much. I we love loved this. having you on the show today. Uh, ladies, listen, I'm always available. Well, wait a minute. Got to check my calendar. Hold oh, you got to check your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> just to listen. Uh, anytime you ladies call me, I, I would definitely come in and, and get on some hot topics with you, especially especially when it comes down to celebrity gossip. You know, Ooh. I got that. And definitely because I have like my, most of my girlfriends are, are the celebrity celebrities. <laughs> but they've seen me gossip about them and they, they like they, they they're like, well, what is T.S. Madison's opinion about it? I'm like, hmm, well, let me mm-hmm. call and get, get <laughs> but anytime you ladies need me to come through and do be a correspondent for your gossip stuff, just just hit me up and my phone call away. And I, I really enjoy your show. I enjoy the name of the show, Being a Woman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations, lady. I love to see beautiful black women striving and making a, a, a impact in the world. And I wish you most much success and blessings to you both. Thank, oh, thank you so you. much. That meant That's so much. Right yes, we really do week. need this. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I love you. Thank you, ladies. No, thank you. All right, well, mm-hmm. after the break, this black woman police officer is finding a voice in her intersectionality. We'll be right back. Stay with us. What's this name? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tia. It was so nice to meet you. I love it. So good to meet you guys, too, girl. And I behaved this morning. I know. I know. I was like, (laughs) she on her best behavior. Because I'm like, you know, I've been really caring on, but I really, I know, I know how to be a chameleon in the in the places that I need to be. Like this, this mm-hmm. wouldn't, this wouldn't be the place for me to be, you know, loud, loud in the color. Now, when y'all come on my month, it's show, different. We, we have to be a chameleon and yes. get into your environment. If you come on my show, y'all gonna see me drinking and cutting up like girl. So, what, <laughs> your girl. So you mean to tell me y'all don't see how Meek Mill acting up during this oh, time? Oh, mm-hmm. yes, he is. I, I, I didn't know that this knuckle is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to call you I up know, again. seriously. <laughs> this knuckle is competing in the <laughs> And it's just like, girl, okay, you, you, you this girl had her, is pregnant and, and, and about to have this baby, and now you have a baby, now you want to split up with this girl. Exactly. Exactly. Like, That's exactly. Mm-mm. Don't Mm-mm. sit right with my spirit. <laughs> you know, I honestly think that they still. In a, in a in a crazy messed up way, they still got some kind of exactly. I don't know. Some it's kind something. Of, it's hard girl, to put our finger on it. Listen, that hood dick don't play. It would knock a uh, it'll knock some loose thing in. And, uh-uh. and, and, <laughs> and it's still hood girl too. So by her being a hood girl, they go know, together. It just works out. <laughs> It does, but they just can't be together. That's why she she, she got that the okay. dude that she. You all right, know. well, we got we to gotta go. Our commercial's about to I be I know. Good. We wish we could talk to you I all know. day, but thank you so much. We're going to we're gonna call you back up, though. All right, we will. Hit me up. Okay, okay thank bye, you. Girl. Okay. Bye, girl. Bye. Bye.